Hey again, this is Kim Folk Chat with Swarthy Daisy. In this video, we're going to take a look at some more results using Ancestry DNA as our basis and foundation. We're going to check out my Ivory Coast and Ghana Ancestry. And here I'm going to have my digital assistant to read the information from Ancestry DNA. Ivory Coast and Ghana, primarily located in Ghana, also found in Benin, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Niger, Sierra Leone, and Togo. Early French and Portuguese explorers identified sections of the West African coast by the area's resources, which is how Cote d'Ivoire, part of our Ivory Coast and Ghana region, got its name. Neighboring Ghana was known as the Gold Coast until it won independence from colonial rule in 1957 and renamed itself after a medieval West African empire. Today, more than 46 million people live in the two countries, which depend less on gold and ivory than they do chocolate. Ivory Coast and Ghana produce more than half of the world's cocoa. There is evidence of human activity in the area of modern-day Ivory Coast and Ghana going back millennia. Some groups, such as the Akan, trace their history in the region to at least the 11th century. Historians believe that most current populations were in place by the 16th century after absorbing or displacing previous inhabitants. Ghana and Ivory Coast are each home to more than 60 different ethnic groups today. Geography played an influential role on the populations of Ghana and Ivory Coast. In both countries, the terrain ranges from savanna in the north to forest in the south. The dense forests acted as partial barriers to trade, migration, and the formation of large, centralized societies like those that appeared farther north, where vast empires rose and fell for more than a millennium. The north-south divide is also evident in religion. Islam came to West Africa with the Trans-Saharan trade and is more prevalent in the North. Christianity, introduced by Europeans, gained a foothold in the South. Migrations into Ivory Coast and Ghana. Modern Ivory Coast and Ghana lie on the periphery of the great empires of Mali, circa 1230 to 1550, and Songhai, circa 1375 to 1591, and the region's population felt their influence. As empires rose and fell, People pushed into new lands or fled old ones. Daula, or Jula, traders, a merchant class of Mande people from Mali, made their way south, introducing goods, new settlers, and Islam to the northern edges of modern-day Ghana. They later established the Kong Empire, 1710-1898 in northeastern Ivory Coast. Other Mande groups settled in western Ivory Coast, where they make up almost 25% of the population today. According to their own oral tradition, the Dagomba people came from the area northeast of Lake Chad, finally settling in northern Ghana. The Sanufo came south from Mali into Ivory Coast in about the 15th century. The Yu people migrated from the east, from the areas now making up Togo and Benin. The most significant migration for Ghana and Ivory Coast, however, began with the arrival of the Akan people. The Akan had established the state of Bonaman a center of trade for gold, salt, kola nuts, ivory and leather in western Ghana, eastern Ivory Coast. From Bonoman, they spread out looking for gold. The Akan people, with a population of 20 million, the Akan represent the largest ethnic group in Ghana and Ivory Coast. The Akan are a matrilineal society believed to have originated in the Sahel region, and who then traveled south into Ghana and Ivory Coast. The Ashanti, a subgroup of the Akan, formed a number of states in Ghana built around trade and gold. They traded with the Songhai and Hausa along traditional inland routes, and also with European partners, starting with the Portuguese, who arrived on the coast in 1482. New crops, such as maize and cassava, and slave labor allowed them to push farther into the forests, clearing land to farm and mining gold. In fact, before the transatlantic slave trade began in earnest, the Ashanti bought slaves from the Portuguese. The Ashanti Empire was established in 1701 by Ose Tutu who began unifying Ashanti states around the city of Kumasi. The Ashanti continued to expand through diplomacy and military conquest, building one of the most advanced and powerful empires in sub-Saharan Africa. Not all Akan people wanted part in the empire, and some fled west into modern-day Ivory Coast. These included the Abron, the Ballet, and the Agni. In the 19th century, the Ashanti fought a series of wars with British troops as England tried to firm up its hold over Ghana. The last was the War of the Golden Stool, led by Queen Mother Nana Ya Santua. Ya Santua was eventually captured by the British and deported, and the Ashanti Kingdom 
known as a Satman, became a British protectorate in 1902. However, her bravery and fight for independence make her a hero in Ghana to this day. And the golden stool, the symbol of the Ashanti state, we never surrender to the British. French sovereignty over Ivory Coast was recognized by the British in 1889, and the country became a French colony in 1893. Ivory Coast continued to attract new immigrants. In the 20th century, when two decades of prosperity and relative peace followed independence in 1960. Did you know, the Ashanti had their own telegraph long before American inventor Samuel Morse patented his in 1847. The Ashanti people sent messages through the forest via drum. The tones of their famous talking drums mimic their own tonal language. Here are my results from Ancestry DNA. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 14%. And then hopping over to 23andMe, they have me as Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean at 27.7%. While at 23andMe, I noticed that I have a relative under that Ghanaian, Liberian, Sierra Leonean section, and this person I guess he's using a surname as a first name, just as an identifier, but Krangar is the person's name, so I redacted the surname, but it also shows that this person has roots in Liberia. Then I hopped on over to Google to look up what the name meant in the origin, so it's a surname, and it's most prevalent in Liberia. And then hopping back over to 23andMe, looking at our genetic relationship, it says our predicted relationship is fourth cousin. So myself and Krangar may share a set of third great-grandparents. We could also be from different generations, removed cousins, or share only one ancestor, half cousins. Looking at family background, we see that this person's maternal grandmother's birthplace was Liberia. The maternal grandfather's birthplace was Liberia. The paternal grandmother's birthplace was Liberia. And the paternal grandfather's birthplace was also Liberia. He also has other locations, including Virginia, Barbados, and Alabama listed. And then looking at relatives in common, the first connection, which is my second cousin, surname Gibson, and I share Krangar as a relative. So again, Gibson is a surname that's found on my paternal side. So the Liberian ancestry is found on my paternal side of the family. I also looked up the CM, that second connection, that third cousin, and that person also matches my paternal side of the family. Now hopping over to my heritage, they show Sierra Leonean as 23.7%, West African 12.8%. And then the site goes on to elaborate that Sierra Leoneans belong to 16 distinct ethnic groups the largest of which are the Mende and the Timne. In the 16th century, Sierra Leone became a major shipping center for the African slave trade. Over a century later, freed slaves from North America returned to the region to found fledgling colonies. People of African descent in the Caribbean and the Americas often have some Sierra Leonean ancestry. Now, going back to 23andMe, it says a continuum of genetic diversity stretches from Senegal to Nigeria. But the people of the coastal countries above the Gulf of Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, and Ghana share a genetic similarity distinct from neighboring regions. The Timne people, who constitute the largest group in Sierra Leone, call this region home, as do the Mende people who reside across West Africa. In neighboring Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, the Akan peoples predominate. So on Family Tree DNA, they show that I have Guinea and Sierra Leone at 23%. 
They also show Liberia and Ivory Coast as 3%. So like I mentioned, each platform breaks your DNA down in different ways. So here they separated it by Guinea and Sierra Leone and Liberia and Ivory Coast. Living DNA shows that I have Mende at 13.8%. It says your DNA has linked you to the Mende people of Sierra Leone. The Mende people are one of the two largest population groups in Sierra Leone. Their neighbors, the Timne people, are roughly equivalent in size with the Mende and Timne each accounting for slightly more than 30% of the total population. They fall under the Mande linguistic umbrella, speaking a dialect related to the languages of the Mandinka, Malinke, Soninke, and others, which is also known as Mende. They also show that I have 4% Akan, and it says my DNA has linked me to the Akan people who are often considered like the Bantu to be a meta-ethnicity an overall population umbrella that covers an extremely large group of people. And then Wikipedia highlights that the Akan people are a Kwa group living primarily in present day Ghana and in parts of Ivory Coast and Togo in West Africa. It says the Akan language, also known as Twi or Fante, are a group of dialects within the central Tano branch of the Kotu Tano subfamily of the Niger Congo family. Vida Jean shows ancestry from West Africa and it includes Ghana here. Your DNA portal shows Volta Niger 47.25 and they include several language groups. They show that there is East Kwa. And they said among these are the most spoken languages of Southern Nigeria, Benin, Togo, and Southeast Ghana. So they do show several language groups kind of under this same umbrella. But again, it does show Ghana. And then Wikipedia says that the Kwa languages, often specified as Nukwa, are a proposed but as yet undemonstrated family of languages spoken in the southeastern part of Ivory Coast across southern Ghana and in central Togo. One of the calculators on your DNA portal shows Akan Ghana 14%. It also shows Mende Sierra Leone at 3%. And then it goes on to show Kasim Ghana at 0.5%. Now coming back to Ancestry DNA, looking at ethnicity inheritance, went ahead and split between paternal and maternal. And as you see, I have Ivory Coast and Ghana on both sides of my family, a little bit more on my paternal side. And then looking at Wikipedia, we see Afro-Bahamians are an ethnicity originating in the Bahamas of predominantly or partial African descent. And they show different descendants of African groups, including Ghana. So that is it for this video. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think about my results. I say this pretty much in every video. There is a rabbit hole that I can dig and go into that would last forever <laughs> because I'm still doing research on my ancestry in all areas of Africa, but um, I didn't want this video to be extremely long. So I want you to go ahead and start some dialogue in the comments. Let me know what you think about the results. If you are Ghanaian or uh, have ancestry out of Ivory Coast and Ghana and um, Sierra Leone and what else? Uh, Liberia. Let me know if you have that and um, make sure to share this with other people that are also looking to find more information about their African roots. 
make sure to leave a like on this video that's very important because it helps the algorithm out and helps me out and helps the message to get out and subscribe if you are not subscribed again this is Ken folk chat i appreciate all of your support thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye